Hi friends, Grandma Mary here. Glad to be with you again. I look forward to the day. Uh, this is called Kids Chat, and obviously I'm the one that's doing all the chatting, and I look forward to the time when we can all be together, and you can tell me what you think about God, and I can listen to you. That would be a wonderful day. I hope that comes soon. I wanted today to talk about our God who doesn't have time. He's not on anybody's clock, and he had no starting, and he doesn't have any ending time either. So he's not like people. People have a beginning day, which is like their birthday, and that's when everybody starts, and we have an ending day. And we have just, in our church, had a man who went to live with God, and he was so neat that everyone who knew him just loved him. He, I admired him. He was kind. He was positive, and he was very brave. And he lived in a wheelchair. And I am so excited because I know we'll miss him. But I like to think of him with God and no wheelchair because in God's time, he can make for our friend a new body that doesn't need a wheelchair, no wheelchairs, and no tears, no crying, no sadness. I can't even imagine that. But you know, we talked about what a great creative God we have who created this whole wonderful universe for us. And he's working on another universe for us for um, that will go on forever, which will be so cool. And I'm thinking that if God could make this universe this cool and interesting, can you imagine what he can think of? For the next universe, I think he's going to dazzle us again. And it will be very, very cool. And I look forward to a time when I can see my friend in heaven and we can dance together. And he will be able to skip or run or anything he wants. And he, and he will no longer um, have a body that doesn't work because God wants for us each to have um, a wonderful life with him. We talked about baptism not too long ago and being coming part of God's family. And that's why it's so important because when we belong to God's family, God's not only watching and helping us with his spirit through our life, but also after we die into our new life. And so being with God and being part of God's family is the coolest, most wonderful thing that you can ever do. I look forward to talking with you again. Bye, friends.